So for the first trick you will need a peacock feather. So you can take any bird feather but I found a peacock one in my campus. A lot of peacocks in my campus so I found a feather. Then you can use the next one is a needle and the syringe. And then next you will need a macro lens. So first we have to put the drops of water on the feather. So with the needle you will have to put, you will need a needle because the syringe because that's how you can get perfect water droplets, perfect and spherical droplets. So we will put them on the feather and then we will clip on the macro lens and try to get a little bit close. So when, it, when you go close it looks really amazing. So let's click some pictures with the macro lens. So these are some of the shots. This is the first one. Clicked and edited on Snapseed and then Lightroom. So and this is the next one. So that's amazing, right? So let's move on to the next trick. So for that one, you'll need a blank book. You'll need a torch light, which has to be working, obviously. Then you'll need a pencil and a spring. The spring you can find it in any of your pen, old pens. You can find it. And then just another stapler or anything, another object. So you place the spring on the book and you put the light on and such a way the shadow should fall and you should just pretend like you're drawing it. It's actually the shadow and you just hold the pencil at the end of the shadow. So let's click some pictures with that and see how it looks. So this is one of the picture like you're drawing the shadow drawing. Doesn't it look amazing? So this is the another picture which you can keep the spring down itself and you can do it. So let's move to the next trick. For this, you'll have to take a picture of any flower. Okay? So you just go outside or anywhere in your garden you might see a flower. So you can take that flower and you can take a picture. So what I, I got a flower fallen down. So I just put it in the grass in the bush here and I took a photo with that. So first you click a picture and then you have to edit it. There's some editing work. Send the work. picture to Snapseed. And then you edit the basic edits, you know, just the brightness you adjust the contrast and all those things and the highlights shadows everything you adjust it that's the basic things that i won't tell you you already know that according to your wish okay that's just the basic things so the next main thing is the curves so you go to curve options and then you choose the green option and bring it totally down like how i'm doing it in the video and then you go to view edits and then you remove it the some are doing and then you go zoom inside and you go to 100 okay make it maximum the curve and then you color just one petal like I'm doing it you can see it so just one petal you color it completely okay so do it sometimes it might go outside so what you have to do it just bring it down to zero the curves decrease it and just erase it in that part okay so that's how you do it and you do it slowly and you do the full one petal just one petal and then you tick it Okay, and you click the back option, back arrow, and you go back. So that's one petal. So you do the same thing on another color. Choose another color. Now you can choose blue. Okay, and you can do that. Okay, so we got blue. You can just see which colors. We can try other colors. Now you can see red. If red is combining with pink, it gives blue. You can see that. So you can choose like that and make another colors. And after doing it for all the petals, it looks something like this amazing right okay so let's move to the next one so for this you need a book a syringe and a macro lens so you just put uh, water droplets on the book and you click pictures just it's very simple just click a picture of the word and the word when you take a macro shot it looks something like this doesn't it look amazing okay so we'll move on to the last trick this is a bit difficult to click because you have to click the sha the smoke of the matchstick coming out from that so just you need a matchstick first you'll need a matchbox and we have to click the smoke coming out from the matchstick so I've clicked on picture I click the smoke and then you send it to Lightroom and this is just the basic edits the highlights contrast the brightness everything should be adjusted just basic things and then you go to the curves and the curves have to be a little bit adjusted the blue and the green curves can be adjusted like I'm showing you just the simple edits, just the simple curves should be adjusted to change the color of the smoke. So just simple things. And then we go to the colors, okay, the different color mix. And you adjust it accordingly. So I want a blue, I want a blue greenish kind of tint. 
so i'm going to put mostly on that colors and you can adjust it as you wish okay so this is how it looks after final editing amazing right hey guys so thank you so much for watching the video it means a lot please do drop down a like and please subscribe to my channel if you like the video you know it motivates me to make more content like this so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video peace